We like Dota is brought to you by our. Shut up, Ben. I didn't say anything. That was Cheeks. Cheeks. That was me. Cheeks, damn it. God. He's right there. You can even see his mouth moving. I thought I thought I saw him. He's getting revenge for all the ventriloquist. Stop your breathing. For the hours that we've. Yeah, seriously. All right. We Like Dota is brought to you by our generous patrons. Find out how to help support the show at welikedota.com and follow the links to the Patreon. We Like Dota, episode 56, starts now. Welcome back to We Like Dota. This is We Like Dota, the internet's casual Dota 2 podcast. I'm Brian Saboninger, and joining me this afternoon is the triumphant return of Jared Clyde Frog Patterson. How's it going, Jared? Hey, Brian. It's going great. Also joining us this afternoon is Ben Yadneb Day. What's going on, Ben? Hey, Brian. Glad to be here. Also joining us is senior executive producer, self proclaimed, uh, Cheeks of Flappin'. Hello, Cheeks. Hello, good to be here. Uh, so, guys, we are no stranger to technical possibilities today. Possibilities, probabilities, yes, impossibilities, potentialities. I take that from Cheeks. He came up with uh, technical possibilities. Yeah. Okay, I had yeah. not heard that before. Mm-hmm. Uh, but boys, it's been a, uh, it's been a, it's been a busy week. Yeah, haven't had much time for the dotes. Yeah, but there hasn't been a lot going on in the dotes. There has not. But I you would... always can play the game, though. You can. I, <laughs> I mean, you can actually play the game. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, well, I, you, possibly. I, I mean, can't, I can't argue against that. Statement. I really can't play the game. Right. Yeah. If you had the time. No, no, no. Play. I mean, executionally, you I can really liter- can't. You play can this. literally play the game, but the game <laughs> right. also plays you. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. so bad. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm just relatively confused at the moment. Yeah, it's nothing. All right. Well, let's get the show started as we always do, and uh, let's do a, a little who'd you play action here. Oh yeah! Oh, look at it go! Oh yeah! We're moving the show right along, guys. Darn right. Fast. Should we? Should we start with you for who you played? Yeah, I played no one. It's perfect. It's out of the way. Yeah, I had a freaking busy week. I'll toss it back to you then. Yeah. <laughs> And also, we were talking a little bit before the show started. Um, Dota really is not a game that you play to unwind. At no. Least I, at least not for me. Mm-hmm. I'm not that kind of guy. It doesn't mm-hmm. tend to go well. Yeah. Yeah. No. I only get wound up. No. Like, I can't, like, if I need to be up early the next day, like, I can't play, like, an hour before bed. You know yeah. what I found you can do, and maybe this is irrelevant to those who play support, you can do last hit training. It's kind of a you know, therapeutic type of thing. That's true. That, no, that's, that's that's good for anyone. That is true. There is like a yeah, certain... That would be good for deny. They should have like a deny practice mode in last well, hit you, training. You can, that would be pretty good. You can still just practice denying instead of last hitting. You could. No, you're I right. Mean, it, no, it, I don't think so. The exact, <laughs> it's the exact same except the opposite. You could. Or you could, you could practice. You could load up a uh, casual, casual skill level bot match and practice mm-hmm. warding. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Sure. Sounds like the worst thing ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an awful idea. Everyone, I just uh, bought a gem. Yeah. Everyone and, needs to uh, learn the last hit well, though, Ben. <laughs> that's true. I, well, it's, take it's advantage. Skill everyone needs to take know. advantage of the farm that you're given. I think you're you're right, and I'll let I'll let it stay. There. I like to load practice up, jungling. I like to load up a private lobby with just myself, and just take a stroll through the jungle. <laughs> do you? Have just, you ever done that? Just a quiet <laughs> stroll through the jungle. <laughs> I hope you've never done that. If no, have, but I do. I do last. Just walk last around the map. Way, yeah. Okay. You, you, you can yeah. practice like stacking in the jungle. You could. That, I think that's something you could definitely yeah. practice. All right, it's enough fun. enough that's of fun. my meaningless. Dota's stressful. stressful. That's what it all boils down. Dota oh, is oh, a yeah. stressful, oh, yeah. stressful God. game. Yeah. It question. It makes me question why I like playing it every time I play it. Yeah, and why we do a podcast about a game <laughs> that we generally hate. It is really strange. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you want to go next, Ben? Yeah, you're leading the show here. I'm not leading the show. I just you, wanted Brian. You, you to just did. You play. just did. I'd all like right. Jared to go next. Then fine. Fine. Okay. Jared, go um, next. I played a couple games on Friday. We uh we have our usual try hard night um that I'm lucky enough to get to play sometimes. Yeah. And uh you got to play this week? Yeah, and it was terrible as as we were discussing. I will say, Jared, ever since uh 
your uh, your baby entered the scene. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, why did I say that so strangely? I, ever, I don't know. Ever, the since, scene. ever since you and your wife had your baby, uh, you've <laughs> been able to make more Friday nights than not. Well, and it's because some truth shortly that. after she was born, you know, Jessica got the new job, and she's making her own schedule. And so she closes every Friday night because she knows I like to play Dota. Intentionally. So yeah. that, that is a loving spouse yeah. right there. That's right. That's, That's how great. it works, baby. So yeah, she works late. I put the baby to bed and I can play some Dota. That That's what well. you call a hashtag space created moment. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was I like that. That was really good. But uh I got some play so on who, who Centaur. Play? Yeah, he played Centaur War Centaur. Runner. Yeah. Um it was uh, so frustrating though. This is so frustrating. I was I was in a solo lane in the off lane, and I was doing great. I was getting last hits. I was getting experience. Mm-hmm. I got kills on both of the people I was playing against. I was, I was laying against a uh, Drow Ranger and a uh, uh, Crystal Maiden, I think. Wow. Yeah, and you, you got kills against that. Yeah. Lane. Well, we had we our mid rotated down, and we took out both of them. Okay. No problem. I had a nine-minute Blink Dagger. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, like... Everything was going great, and then we just got steamrolled. Well, the, the oh, yeah. damn Wraith King that you put to solo farm and yeah, the, whoever the, that bastard the, was, the, the tri lane that you had going on, just <laughs> it did not work yeah. out. That's, it did not work out. Well, that's the risk that you want run with the tri lanes. Yeah, no, it's true. It's unless true. Unless you're well, basically what happened was we we had a we had a Morphling get super fed, and we had a Ricky mm. get super fed. Oh, okay. So it wasn't a tri lane issue. Did, it was well, a no. feeding issue. The, well, the tri lane we didn't. I did not get the farm. I should have had because i right. think the problem is when you're when you're doing a tri lane communication is key and we had a couple other people from the we like dota community helping us out and they're all very they're very equal, good players if not better players yeah than exactly us. for sure but the problem mm-hmm. is we kept trying to secure kills and communication wasn't there to get the kills and then i'm not getting last hits if i'm trying to get kills and it just didn't quite yeah no just did, we just didn't really gel with that and I which think i mean we, it happened i mean that's it happens yeah when and you're it, playing it, a team game and you never played as a team yeah, and I think the yeah, other no, issue is sure. just we had such a small window of time to try yeah. to, to really do what we wanted to do. So um, I think that was really what happened with that. So. That's fair. Yeah, no. So, But that game ended up, we got out carried. I mean, just what happened. It was, yeah. Which we I, do, I, could happen. I blame completely on myself because I drafted our team. So What was the draft? It was a Centaur. Centaur, obviously. Wraith King, Core, and then a Silencer mid. Yeah. Okay. I like Silencer. I like Silencer too. And then Shadow um, Demon, maybe? Shadow Demon and Dazzle. Dazzle. That sounds like a good combo. I liked it. I liked it. Um, It didn't have enough damage. And that's what it boiled down to. I, I never, think Wraith, I never got farm. I and think it's probably my fault. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, when yeah. you have when you have a singular, really, a uh, really a single core lineup like that, and it gets shut down. Who's it? it? Was who are the supports? Dazzle and who else? Shadow, Shadow Demon. Demon. Yeah. yeah. And we didn't get, we didn't even lose our lane. I just failed to get last hits. Is really what it boiled yeah. down to. I think I spent too much time 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 trying to get kills, mm. and not yeah. enough time time trying to just get farm. And Centaur, and he or not Centaur, uh, Silencer. His damage doesn't really kick in until yeah. You need, to, later. you need to get some early kills and yeah. start stacking that intelligence. Yeah. yeah. So but it was what it was. Yeah. Who, who else do you play? Anybody else? A little Night Stalker, some Undying. You know, my faves. Well, good. Yeah. Well, very good. Still have yet to get an actual win on a Night Stalker, by the way. It's coming. I can but feel I it. But I loved playing him, man. It's, it's on the way. But yeah, the game that I played on him was terrible. I was just, I was not in it mentally. Mm-hmm. And I think I ended up being like 4 10 and 2 or something. Yeah. It was we kind of checked out okay. by that point. Yeah. Yeah, the good news is you got to play the game. So that's yeah, absolutely, that was a lot of fun. Well, how about Mister Cheeks a flapping? Who did you play this week? Oh, mostly support stuff. Nothing out of the ordinary. I had those games on Friday night, and it was mostly a losing week. And just after that second game, I was playing on Jakiro, and I was laning with the lone druid. By the way, I feel like as a support, it's helpful to know what your carry does when he's in lane. (laughs) (laughs) I have no idea what. Bone Druid does. I still have no idea what he really does. He has a bear. He has a root. That's about yeah. all. Yeah. The bear has a root. And then sometimes I see vines tangle around somebody. Yeah, but, that's, you know, the, uh, that's the root. That's the entangling root. He basically gets a free he, skull basher. Yeah. 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 So, of. I mean, I was yeah. I was like trying to set him up for stuff, but then I don't know. He was he was some random guy. So, yeah, that right. probably didn't help either. He was pretty and, rando, too. By I was way, feeling pretty apathetic by the end of the game, and I was like, I yeah, think I'm going to sure. take the next week off from Dota. So I feel like I've, I've seen, uh, been playing some other games. I feel like actually, I've seen which has been a good time in, uh, in Lone Druid play lately. Maybe I've seen a lot of Lone Druids lately. He's yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 
That's, I, all, that's been, all I have to say. I've been stuck on him on my hero challenge for like three weeks. So it <laughs> oh, could wow. be that it's okay. just everybody's stuck in the same spot. Could be. Um, so yeah, well, that's good, Cheeks. Um, I played, like like we said, Wraith King. I played some Sniper. And then uh, Cheeks and I have been stepping away a little bit from the Dota occasionally and trying out the game Evolve, which is kind yeah. of fun. It's a, I would say it's, it's pretty fun. It has some Dota-like things to it in terms of you have four people with different roles trying to accomplish one goal okay. which is take down a fifth person who's playing a gigantic monster like godzilla all right mm-hmm. sounds about right and yeah it's what, what do you think cheeks what are, what are your reactions so far we just got the game this I, week i like it I'm, i've been i've always been sort of a fan of class-based shooter stuff too and i really like you know any sort of class that like lends to sort of uh, like protection abilities or healing abilities or whatever like that. So For sure. I think that's also why I'm kind of drawn to support in Dota is because I, I like that stuff, like being the medic or the support in Battlefield was always fun. So, uh, I, yeah, I love playing like the support of the medic class. Yeah, we've you know? fallen into the same roles we play in Dota. I've been the, the damage dealer type, and he's been the medic, and it just kind of <laughs> yeah, just kind of fell into that. It was kind of odd. It just kind of <laughs> happened. I was playing but it's, it's got such too, a ended up being it, the medic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was kind of like that. It's but. got such a great uh, sort of atmospheric <laughs> thing. Like I've been playing with headphones a lot, and so you know when you hear the monster, you're kind of listening for like the big thump thump footsteps, footsteps and stuff. So it's fun stuff. That's awesome. But yeah, that's that's who I played was the assault class in Evolve <laughs> this right. week. So Jared and. Team Fortress Classic, the medic, he had that nail gun, right? Oh, Shot yeah, man. nails. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that thing was crazy. Yeah, that thing okay. was great. All right. That's. I think that's the Who'd You Play segment. All right. Because apparently I was hosting that yeah, segment. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's fine. Let's let's go ahead and move on, boys. We're going we're gonna to bring in the news. <laughs> to read the future, I need entry. Uh, so, Jared, you graciously did our show notes for us. And the oh, first Andy, news yeah. item I have here, and I don't know if I would consider this news. Oh, I think it is. Well, I think it's I think it's news. It says Brian bought the Crystal Maiden Arcana. So, so Brian, no, let's 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 and reword this. Brian, you spent twenty eight dollars on a Crystal Maiden hat. That's correct. Correct. That comes with a puppy. Yeah. How do you feel about your purchase? Are we having buyer's remorse? Are we feeling? I good? have no idea how I feel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the one hand, I'm really excited about it because it's awesome. And yeah. you get a puppy. That's pretty you neat. You get a puppy and a puppy emoticon. I oh. think I found my new oh. uh, horse. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. You, you can do a puppy horse. Yeah. And I got a bunch of uh, points for the pay to win year beast mode. Have you been playing that? I've done it once. I've also done it once. Yeah. What do you think? What do, well, let's talk about the CM Arcana. Buyer's remorse, yes, no. Not sure is where we're at with that. Not sure. I don't know if I hate myself or if I really like it. Okay. Well, I want to give it a few more weeks and see yeah. where you're at with that, because I don't want to buy an Arcana if you feel like it was. I a think bad I'm leaning towards not hating myself. Okay. okay, good. I'm leaning away from that. It's still my favorite Arcana. I really like it. I yeah. still can't believe you spent twenty eight dollars on it. But if I played I C- if I played CM, I might have. I also. think I think the Shadow Fiend one is kind of neat. I'll have to check that one out. I don't know if I know what that one looks like enough. It looks like his head's on fire. Yeah. Well, it is on That's fire. Cool. It is on fire. Yeah. yeah. So it does, looks, so looks like Lena. he has like a stovetop hat yeah kind of yeah except it's on fire yeah i kind of like that one well, so lena's yeah. got a burning head too on that one thing yeah so. that's just kind of weird though honestly yeah i don't know yeah. that's before they knew what they were doing with i think yeah, hers head... was the first arcana wasn't it yeah it might have been mm-hmm. the, i think it was the heads on fire thing i'm kind of over so the cm one's great it's my favorite arcana but... and she would look really weird with the head, head on fire well it would have to be yeah like <laughs> a blue fire probably. you know what now that i'm thinking about it yeah i can like combine it with something. my crystal maiden immortal head mm-hmm. headpiece hat mm-hmm. Literal hat. Yeah. Yes. And then the I have the white sentry staff, which is also an immortal. Yeah. So I've I got, I got a blinged out crystal made. Yeah, you, you get you, you get s- a pretty blinged crystal. You yeah. spent twenty eight bucks to have a CM Arcana set. Why don't you just keep the set? Well, it's, it's well, a, it's not a set. It's a singular item. It's oh, a, it is. Yeah. What is the actual item? Just the it's like the it's shirt, the cape. The, the skirt yeah. Thing? There's actually a the, slot created for the hero. Specifically for the Arcana. I had no oh, idea. Wow. So you That's can use it with other items. It's its though. own slot, yeah. <clears throat> so moving forward in the workshop, though, you, there'll be things to... Oh, we're going to bling it out. You, you taught yeah. me something new neat. today about that's that. Neat. I actually feel somewhat disappointed that it was only one item. But that's okay. Well, that's kind of what it, what it is, though. I mean, yeah, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Well, let's talk about the Year Beast then. What did you mm. think of the Year Beast mode that you played? Uh, well, I played one round of it, mm-hmm. and I had a fun time with it. Good, Good deal. Did you I'm, win? Uh, no. No. I'm going to try and play it again, but 
I don't I don't know what's going on in that. <laughs> it's pretty confusing. <laughs> yeah. I do believe it probably is pay to win because I think I think I think it's pay to get a big advantage, not necessarily pay to win. I would say that's the same thing. I don't I don't necessarily think it's but the same look, thing. How many games of Dota have we thrown with a huge advantage? Well, that's exactly. true. Exactly. And the nice thing is somebody else can do the pain, right? Like Oh, Bri- absolutely. Yeah. Bri- Brian spent all this yeah, money. Yeah, we need to play with him because he spent the money board, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. it's pay it's somebody needs to pay to win, but it doesn't have to be you. Is maybe the actual phrase that you would use to describe it. No, I think the phrase would be pay to get a very large advantage. Or whatever. Okay, one <laughs> or the other. But anyway, I thought it was interesting. It it uh it forces the team to have a little bit more because I played a couple matches of that. Yeah. Oh. It forces the team to have a little bit more coordination in terms of hey, everybody run here. Like if you see like fifteen year old or not fifteen year olds, but like <laughs> seven year olds playing soccer and yeah, they all kind of run towards the ball. Right. It was kinda like that with the year beast. Everybody run towards the year beast. Right. So you have the one guy in the corner chasing a cloud. That right. was me. And if you have that, then you're gonna lose like Brian's team did. But <laughs> that if was if, me, like if I everybody didn't runs. Want to run. Yeah, if everybody runs to the right spot, then you're okay. Here's a pretty flower. But it was okay. It was less distracting than the other modes, and I guess you can yeah, win right. stuff if you win. But it, to me, it's, it, it's the, at least it, it goes seems fun. It, they go faster because yeah. the year beast. Because if I had to do it for 45 minutes, I would be pissed. So here's the th- explain to me what's going on because I have no idea what's going on. There's with a this. spawn timer. Okay. And it at a certain point in time. Right. No. Okay. I, I understand when it happens, but what's the actual game mode like? Well, okay. I'm I'm getting there. All so right. when that oh, counts boy. down. Then you have a year beast spawns for each team. Okay. You can also spend these virtual yeah. points on abilities. So, mm-hmm. like, one of them refreshes your team's abilities. I think one has, okay. like, a damage. One of boost. them turns on the guns for the towers. Maybe. Like, well, it's there's, for, there's, there's it's different called things. tower flat cannon. Well, there, yeah, there's, like, <laughs> skills. There's, well, there's skills, there's, and there's, there's also, lightning. like, there's, like, actually abilities you can use, too. So, like, you oh. have, like, different levels to your year beast. That's that really has like cool. passive like abilities, that. and then you can also like teleport, teleport your year beast, or do a global silence. All those abilities cost points, which sure. cost money, right? Um, but then essentially, yeah, the the year beast just pushes the heck out of everything, and so the match it just goes, goes real faster. quicker. It goes yeah. a little faster. So okay. if it didn't go faster, I think I would be upset. Can can your year beast die? Yeah, it can be killed. Mm-hmm. You could target down the other year beast and but stuff it too. So. So oh. my, my team, I've only so just, played okay, like a normal hero yeah. would. Uh, yeah, my team's play. strategy. My team's strategy was okay. Let's all teleport. Teleport our year beast, and I don't know if this is the right strategy or not, but it's what we did. Teleport our year beast to where the other team had their year beast, and then we're gonna team fight the heck out of that particular lane sure. and just push like crazy and try to win the game. All right. Have you won yet? No, I've no. only played like one or two matches. Okay. Here's my question. Do those ability points, once I use them, are they gone or do they get replaced? I was hoping that you would be able to answer that. I have no I idea. I haven't played since I bought the Crystal Maiden. Yeah, and Arcana. there's like a, there is a daily allowance or bonus. I don't know. It's all space cash. Who knows what's going yeah. on there? But all right. It's fine. I, I honestly still dodge it. I'd rather just hope I luck out and get a hat when I play the game normally. So I like it for the chance of trying to get a hat. Um but these game modes, I kind of wish that they were a little, a little bit more simple to just kind of jump into. It's there's a lot of complexities to it. Well, I think that might be. Well, there is a lot of head knowledge you have to have to understand everything. Yeah. I'm not going to say complex because it didn't look like overly complex. Yeah, that's true. I'll but I that. would say that there's a lot of. I don't know what all the buttons do. I don't know exactly yeah. how all. I, there's not. They don't give you a great rundown on how the the thing actually functions. So it just sounds like there's there. a lot of ancillary knowledge. Yeah, yeah, I would say that's fair. And, but, and I, I don't know if that knowledge it gives you a huge advantage, but at least lets you know what the heck you're supposed to be doing. Unless yeah. you so, buy points. Unless you buy points, which <laughs> do give you some advantage. So. And I'm scared to like press buttons and lose the game for us. And I'm not. I'm not mad. That's me playing Dona yeah. anyway. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Frankly, I'm just not. I'm not mad that it exists. I know some people were upset it exists. Brian and I talked about this last week. Whatever. If people want to play this special mode, then that's fine. And if they want to spend money on yeah. that special mode, that's yeah, fine. by all means. I will continue to play normal Dota. You should probably play the Gear Beast mode with me if you spend money on it. Well, yeah, that's what I, I want to play it with Brian. That's the only time I'm going to play it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's we that. Can, we can get you in. Yeah, absolutely. We can get you in. righty. All right. Uh, enough of that. Uh, let's see. What's next here? Uh, okay. So there are new. Uh, the new Bloom item sets have been released. Yeah. What do you think? They're they're kind of loud. Oh, I love them. Really, I am shocked. I love them. I love like they're the f- not color swaps, Brian. Yeah, I love the flair of like the 
the Eastern style for all of them. Okay. Is it because it's the, the theme supports the little bit more loud look to those? Is that why? Because usually you're opposed to anything that's not just a basic yeah, color swap. Well, what changed? It's, uh, I like the loudness of them. I like the Eastern theme to them, I guess. Right. That's what I like. Okay. That's why I like the loudness. Okay. Okay. So, that's, okay. so the answer is yes to my question. Yeah. It's related to the theme. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. the uh, the only one that I did not like was Queen of Pain's set. I think her model just needs reworked or something. It just looks it's, I don't it's know. weird. It's dumb. Yeah, it's odd. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm not a big fan. I don't think the set was necessarily bad. I don't think there's a Queen of Pain set that I really liked. Well, her wings were like parasols or something like that. That's kind of dumb. I yeah. don't know. I thought it was fine. I just, I just think that I don't like her model or something in general. I think. I wasn't a big fan of the Sven one, honestly. Oh, that was my favorite one. See, I don't know. That thing was badass. I thought right. it was. I thought it was good. I don't think it was the one that you'd really hope that you get as a rare drop. I didn't right. think it was that good. And here's the thing: I'm not a big fan of most of the Sven sets in general. I feel like they all are just really weird. I would bulk him up right hmm. with. Uh, I put him right with Queen of Pain as. Yeah. Maybe a model that needs reworked or something. I don't or, know. Or the or the way the sets just don't never jive with me. I don't know. Something's yeah. Something's not good. I so. don't know. I'm with you, Sven and, and Quap. I'm trying to find these new item sets, but I can't find it's them. It's okay. I'm I don't, not going to worry about it's it. It's an audio yeah. show. I don't think people want us to talk about that too much. That's true. That's a yeah. good point. I got the Venge one. I like that one quite a that bit. That one was kind of neat. That is a really cool one, yeah. I like the Keeper of the Light one. Turns mm-hmm. his horse into a ram. That was kind of neat. Coddle of the Light. Yeah. Yeah. I think the the big, the yeah, the long and short of it is there's new hats out there. Check them out if you're interested, basically. Yeah. So You know, you know our love for hats. Oh, we, we like love, hats. We They're back. Hats, hats are yeah. back. It's hats great. are back, folks. Yeah. Uh, Jared, uh, tell us about what's been going on with eHug as of late. Yeah. Well, first of all, eHug is back. Yeah, apparently. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, so the eHug is this just kind of uh, North American team that, what was it, about two years two years ago they kind of formed a team and they just are... What's the story behind eHug? Do you remember what it was? They just made a team. And, it was just like uh, two guys that wanted to start a team, right? That I'm not sure. They they in, I think they were invited to the TI4 qualifiers. Oh well, yeah. Mm-hmm. And remember they had that really weird PR stunt on Reddit Dota 2. Yeah. Where the manager of the team was like, "Look, we're a bad team. What advice do you guys have for us?" And which kind of well, sucks. No, they they asked for like strats. Strats, right? Yeah, for the uh, qualifiers for TI4. Yeah. Which. Which we've talked about how much we like eHug's uh, PR. Yeah, I think that their management is really, it's good. Yeah, except in this one case. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I think what was great about it was in in the turnaround, the the statement that they released was was just really well done. I remember that. I don't remember the specifics of it, but I remember okay. I remember it being kind of a a neat little being like, hey, classy. Yeah, kind of yeah. a classy thing. But anyway. So they they're reforming with a with a new roster. Mm-hmm. Um, Is it the same management? Yeah. Okay. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, at least. But uh, our uh, our casting friend Trouf, yes. has been leading them, which uh, we both have. Uh, Brian, we we've been talking about how uh, we're not a big fan of him as a caster. Yeah, he's a little arrogant. Which, yeah. if you listen to us, we're probably arrogant as well. That's a good point. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So um, they qualif- They won a qualifier over Team Fire. Pretty big upset. Yeah, I mean it's th- real big names actually playing for Team Fire right now. And te- yeah, Team Fire. It was kind of like a tryhard reformation. Yeah, yeah. With so. uh, with Fluff, Fogged. No, or- Fogged is out. Fogged is out. Mm-hmm. It's Fluff, um, Jimmy, of course. Jimmy. Uh, then who the hell else was it? Was nothing mad on that team, or was yeah. yeah, was Brax on there? Yeah, Brax and Ush. Ush, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big upset. Yeah, so good for them. Yeah, good for them. So they they actually won. They're going to a land tournament in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I yeah, don't know. Yeah. It's just a team that I want to keep a keep on radar and see how they do. Hopefully, they get invited to qualifiers at least. Well, hold on. One of the biggest stories of this, and I didn't know this until oh yeah yeah yeah, you were over last night. We were watching EG <laughs> versus Ehug. I forgot about this. Their mid Yawar is his name. Is Sumail from EG's brother, older brother? Oh, it's Sumail's brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sumail's older brother. Oh, cool. 
So okay, yeah, it's it's runs in the family. It's kind of a fun little storyline. The hell's going on in Pakistan? Well, That's here's what my I question: know. To what extent? So, like, you look at Michael Phelps, mm-hmm. okay, and that man is genetically set up to be a swimmer. Sure. Is there something going on in the gene pool that makes certain people just have the right, you know, body makeup or something like the right finger so. length? Or <laughs> you don't think so? Just, I don't know. They just probably just sat around as brothers and played a lot of Dota. I'm surprised. I would think so. Okay. Yeah, I would think so. Well, but- I mean. Yeah, if you look at like Dendy or somebody like him, you know, and you've seen Free to Play, you'd, you'd notice that he was like a piano player. And, like, That's what I'm saying. And, like, and I think like a classical. I think, yeah, I think that there might be something to that, but I don't think it's necessarily. There are people that are far better than Dendy who are I, not I'd like to think players. that I'm bad at Dota just because of the shape of my hands. I guess that's what I'm going with. Yeah, I'll, I'll mm. blame it on my hands. I have short, stubby hands. I've got the mouse that weighs nine pounds. <laughs> yeah, well, you really do. And I love it. But yeah, so well, that's cool. Though. I'm gonna keep an eye out for them. I'm, I'm gonna be rooting for them if they get to the qualifiers for TI. A lot of value bets on Dota Two Lounge through them. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, they did just get blown out by EG last night. Well, yeah, but yeah, EG's yeah. one of the best teams around. And they uh, EG drafted Phantom Lancer last night. Yes, they did. Phantom Cancer. Phantom Cancer. <laughs> Which uh, spoiler alert? That's going to be the hero of the week. So uh, let's oh, spoilers. Uh, let's let's move on here, boys. All right. Okay. You're tougher than I thought. Come along. Feeding time. Have a cookie. Meepo. More meepo. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. So as we mentioned, Phantom Lancer is the hero of the week. Uh. Yeah, good old Phantom Lancer. This guy was uh, just recently added back into Captain's mode after a bit Unfortunately, of a, a, after a bit ass. of a rework. And before the rework, he was on like first band status for us. Mm-hmm. For us. For us. Yeah, <laughs> not not the pros. For us. For us. Yeah. yeah, I should clarify that first first band status for us. So let me ask you, Jared, as our resident drafter, does he go back to first band status? Oh, probably. Okay. Really? Okay. It's it's just. What it was, I think, is honestly, it started to be a bit of a running joke. Okay. And then we just continued to do it. So. Well, we did lose every game we played against the Phantom Lancer for like four games in a row. Yeah, early, early on in our in our Dota playing careers. No, you're right. We just kind of stuck with the idea that. You know, that yeah. Just... And that's still mostly true. Yeah, probably. We lose a lot of games to him. I don't know if I've really played against them as much since the new... Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll get into it when we talk about it more. I, I'll be honest. I was upset that we were talking about Phantom Lancer until Brian reminded me that I was the one yeah, that Yeah, you made that decision. That. I had did, something yeah. else in the show notes, and then you were like... Brian's like, no, we already made our decisions on what we're doing. Well, we, we have to do Phantom Lancer. <laughs> right. Because Ben said we have to do Phantom Lancer. Yeah. Well, Freaking we, were trying, Lancer. we were trying to get ahead. And the reason I put Phantom Lancer in here is because he was Adam the Cap. He was Adam no, the no, no, no. I, I understand. So that, yeah, f- it sure. makes sense. But I'm still bitter about it, even mm-hmm. though it was yeah, my I hate decision. that guy. Yeah, and you. All right, yeah, so no problem. <laughs> sure. Phantom Lancer <laughs> is a it. melee agility hero, <laughs> and with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and start talking about his abilities. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, his Q <laughs> is Spirit Lance. Uh, sends a magical Spirit Lance to a target enemy until the damage. Uh, un- bleh, starting over. Sends a magical spirit lance to a target enemy unit that damages and slows while summoning an illusory phantom to attack the unit. Um, so let's see. You use this and... Are you confused? You, you seem get a little damaged confused. and stunned, and then it also creates an illusion, yeah, basically. I think so. I'm just trying to summarize what goes I, on. I appreciate yeah. your summary. It's good. Okay. Thank you, Ben. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with Jared. He's either trying to be the hero of the people by being mean to me, or he's trying to take my spot. Are you guys in the chat room? No, 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 no. <laughs> no I, I'm looking at something. Uh-huh. It's not the chat room. All right, so anyway, the cast range on this is 750. The damage is 100 at level 1. Uh, damage is 250 at level 4. The move speed slow is 10% at level 1, 40% at level 4. Mm-hmm. Illusion damage taken is 400%. Illusion damage dealt is 20%. So that's like of your, mm-hmm. of your base stats. The illusion duration is 2 seconds at level 1, scaling all the way up to... Eight seconds at level four, Whoa. and the slow lasts for three point two five seconds, and the cooldown is seven seconds at all levels. Seems like it does a lot. Seems pretty good. Yeah, damages and slows. I think the big deal here is the slow. Well, plus he gets an illusion. In the a illusion. Bit, yeah. yeah. Well, everything he does gets illusions. Yes. Jackass. That's right. <laughs> Can you Gosh. disjoint this? Can be disjointed. Hey, there you go. 
So that's nice. Does it create an illusion if you if it's disjointed? I would assume not. I would I would assume not. When it is disjointed or when it cannot hit the target for other reasons, no illusion is spawned. Well, there you go. Well, our so assumption, just, our assumption read, was correct. There you yeah. have it. Yeah, if we read, we get the answers. Uh, gosh, <laughs> gosh, you're in a weird mood today. I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the, I haven't like seen people in like is three that weeks. what it is? Yeah, forgot how to interact with people yeah. socially. Yeah. Uh, his W is <laughs> doppelganger, which is one of the newer abilities from uh, his rework. His rework, yeah. So this is like an AOE targeted ability. Phantom Lancer briefly vanishes from the battlefield yeah. after one second. Phantom Lancer and any of his nearby illusions reappear at a random position within the targeted location, along with two additional doppelgangers. The two added doppelgangers have different properties. One takes normal damage and deals none, while the other takes 600% bonus damage and, teal and deals 20% damage. So it kind of... Um, it, it keeps you from figuring out who the real Phantom Lancer is. Right. It makes it a little bit harder well, to do. More, even more, more so, harder. Yeah, yeah, more so, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Cast Even range on this harder. is 600. Okay. Target area radius is 325. Uh, reappear delay is one second, and the illusions last for eight seconds. So, so the, these eight second illusions, then it's eight seconds at all levels. By the way, yeah. To get eight seconds out of his Q, you have to get that all the way up to level four. Right, 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 right. But yeah, so these these eight second illusions. One of them only deals 20 percent damage, and the other one deals zero damage. So these ones are just basically the ones that they're decoys yeah they're running interference right basically yeah Jeez. but you can disjoint with this thing uh you yeah. can it's it's just it's i feel like it's an annoying ability it's, and not, you can, it's not that bad guys it's really not it's annoying it's annoying but i don't i honestly don't think he's as bad as he was i think he's well, and I, he's just different. I was going to I was going to bring this up later, but one annoying. of the reasons he's not as annoying, one of the big reworks he had, his agi growth before his rework was 4.2. It is what? now What? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Now it's 3. Oh jeez. Well, and that that's what I think I've noticed about him cuz yeah. I was I was playing with him. So he and, tanks a lot less. Well, and his damage growth is also less. Exactly, yeah. Which which is what I've noticed is it just doesn't seem like he has quite the carry potential he had at yeah. one point in time and it or the armor for that matter I exactly guess. So, exactly um yeah playing or, or as, the the attack speed or the any of those things that <laughs> right made, any and which procs more illusions and right yeah but his illusions he creates more illusions but they don't last as long as they used to that either they and some of them don't deal damage right i think overall he's he's not as strong as he was or and i know that valve did some different things to nerf him before they reworked him and stuff but right 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 i think overall he's much less annoying now than he was hmm. okay so second ban no i don't even, first ban. <laughs> i think you just if they pick him you're grateful yeah. for it okay uh, uh his next ability is e it's a passive when targeting an enemy for an attack phantom lancer quickly charges into range Phantom Lancer's illusions also have this ability. Perfect. Um, so the minimum rush di distance for this to work is 300. And the maximum, the furthest you can be away, is 600 at level 1 all the way up to 900. It's a level fun ability. Four. So, so this just makes him faster then. He charges, he like jumps towards you. He gets 800 move speed. Think of it like almost like a targeted blink or something. He just boom right at you. Interesting. Okay. It's not that fast, but you know yeah. you get the idea of it's yeah. just you're shooting towards something at a fast speed. Cooldown is sixteen at level one, four seconds at level four. Wow! And the maximum distance at level four is nine hundred. Nine hundred, yeah, that's, that's pretty far. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, and his ultimate is also a passive called Juxtapose. Phantom Lancer has a chance to fracture his presence, creating an illusion of himself. Illusions also have a chance to fracture further. Illusions created Perfect. from Phantom Lancer last for eight seconds, while illusions created from other illusions last four <laughs> seconds. The proc chance on this is 40% at level one, 45% at level two, and 50% at level three. Illusion proc chance is 8%. The maximum illusions is five at level one, seven, max, seven illusions at level seven, and nine illusions at level nine. Uh, the illusions take 500% bonus damage, and they deal 16% damage and last for four seconds. Ain't nothing. Yeah, it's not too bad. Here's my go. here's my question for you, Jared, and, and Brian, 
also because you guys follow the pro scene. What, what's it looking like right now for pros? Are they picking him, and how's it going? We've only seen one, or at least I've only seen one. how did one. it go? Yeah. Uh, they won. It was okay. Win. But are there? No, it seems like people are mostly ignoring They would have won. Right? It was EG that picked it versus E-Hug, and they, they would have won, won anyways, anyway. right? Yeah. So I, yeah. I just don't think he's that strong right now. I think, yeah. I think that, like most things, he has an ability. He has abilities that could be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Abused, uh, ex- or exploited. Yeah, exploited. exploited yeah. Actually, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you. That could be exploited, similar to like a terror blade or anything like that. But again, at the same time, they've nerfed the things that make him good for the actual game, mm-hmm. like that that whole pushing kind of strat in general. And tower yeah. gold, all that kind of everything that has made uh, that kind of base rush uh, strat kind of nerfed that. Why? Why pick PL over a terror blade? Terror blade was banned. Yeah, right. <laughs> but but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, though? yeah. But it's another thing. That's it's you, you, your enemy team has no AOE in general, and this guy is going to create more illusions. Mm-hmm. Um, so force the or AOE the other team out. has Bat Rider. Yeah, that's a good that's a good choice. Bat so Rider. I mean, yeah, there's some specific situations, yeah. but I, I think he's not a go-to. You just pick him because he's part of your strat right now. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I, think that he's one that you build around no, anymore. Yeah, no. He, he definitely used to be one that you could build around. I, I just don't know if I love where he's at right now. But let's let's go on. I know there's other things we want to talk about with him. Uh, so we talked about his abilities. Um, let's talk about what role he plays and what lane you put him in. Gonna throw that to Jared. Um, he's a carry. He's a carry. Very yeah, good. I don't think he's, he's your probably way. number one spot. I would yeah, think. Yeah, right? I would imagine yeah. he's gonna be in your safe lane. He's gonna be farming his face off. Yeah, I think safe lane's the way to go with him. I don't. I don't think off lane would be very good. No, no, I wouldn't he imagine. Ha- well, he, he has, has an escape. escape he though. could. He could. Situationally, he would be okay in the off lane. I think he, if he was an aggressive tri laned, yeah. I think he'd be okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. To try to get some kills? Because yeah. I think he can get some early kills if you get some right people around him. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Yeah. So, yeah. Carry. Get a lot of farm. Win game. Right. I, okay. don't, I don't think he gets the step three. I think that's where he's, he's not making it. So the question mark profit. Yeah, the question mark's still <laughs> a question mark. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I think even in pubs, though. like I think he's a pain in the butt in pub have you played games. against him much in pub since the rework because he's really not as bad have, as he was yeah i don't think I don't right after right after the when he came back from the rework there was a lot of phantom lancer yeah but le- lately though he's not no, even, not people lately. don't even pick him I remember if you do you, you being get a, very upset about it ben well just because of just because he came back because i yeah. hated him before yeah right and now i don't right. i don't feel like oh my gosh they picked the phantom lancer i actually forget that they have a phantom lancer most of the time in the game right yeah no it's a very different feeling it's yeah it is it's very different i would agree with that yeah. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> uh, items. Let's talk about items on Phantom Lancer. All right. Um, Diffusal blade. <laughs> Diffusal blade is really good on him. That's what people love to build on him. Do the, yeah. Because yeah. you get it because you know for the illusions only prime or like only stats count, not not R- like right. bonus damage and attack speed and stuff. And for the mana, the mana burn. burn is the does big that part of it. does that work on all illusions? I believe. Okay. I believe so. It does. It says it right here. Diffusal yeah. Blade has one of the few attack modifiers that work with illusions. So, yeah. Then then you're going to be looking for other things that, you know, anything that has an ultimate orb you're going to want. Just because, again, you, you were talking about those stats. Yeah. They build into it. So, a Lincoln Sphere is great because then it also gives you a little bit of defensive mechanism. Yeah. Um, Some people like to build a heart on him just to give him a little bit of tankiness and right. more health to the illusions because of the way that scales. And right. Everything. Yeah, but the illusions will only get your um, twenty-five strength as opposed to right. Yeah. Right. The full mm-hmm. HP for that, but yeah. Um, Amanta's great on him. Mm-hmm. I agree. Butterfly, perfect. Create more illusions. Yeah. Cause more yeah. havoc. Yeah. Butterfly and, is really good. And a lot of stats with Manta too. Yeah. The Daedalus for the damage. Yeah. Yeah. With the uh, with butterfly, the evasion works on illusions. Yeah. Oh, cool. So that's, that's neat. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's annoying. That's something nice to know. Yeah. <laughs> and since they take like five and six hundred percent damage, that's kind of a big deal. For it them. is. Yeah. If they don't get hit. Yeah. So uh, I guess the general strategy with Phantom Lancer is you so, farm up. You can farm. I mean, you can farm the jungle really quickly mm-hmm. with him. Right. Right. And you can kind of 
you don't really use the doppel lock for movement, I guess, but it really uh, it helps you get illusions quicker. Yeah, I think it's really yeah. nice. Um, so yeah, I do you do you go Vlad's? The Vlad's doesn't really work on you can li- uh, or the life still doesn't work on illusions. Does it, it would because of the the aura would I think. Oh, yeah, it might. I don't think it does. That seems overpowered. I don't think it's that great. But again, oh, okay. It's a well, Vlad's isn't a unique, unique attack modifier, is it? No. But well, life's still the aura it, from the, Vlad's. The aura is not. is not right, right. So. so you would lose the the additional part. The yeah, right, exactly. So you wouldn't want to do that in a diffusal, is what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay, let's talk about because we we've all had times when Phantom Lancer is picked and you don't have what you need to deal with Phantom Lancer and he just runs you over. Right, right. So what? What kind of heroes do you want to pick to go up against Phantom Lancer? In um, Medusa would be a good pick up against him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Sven is a just classic counter as well. Get, get a Maelstrom yeah. or a Battle Fury on yeah. somebody, and they can take care of him that way. Sven because of the natural the cleave, natural cleave that mm-hmm. he's got. Um, any kind of an AOA, AOE ability would be fine on him. So yeah. I would think you'd probably want to avoid somebody like a Lich. Where that ultimate would bounce into the illusions, I would think. So yeah, if you have an eggs, it's fine. Well, yeah, if you have an eggs, it could be <laughs> be more than fine. But before that eggs, you might be hurting a little bit. But yeah, I think uh, anything with AOE, basically. Witch doctor had the cask bouncing around for hours. You could, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, he's he's him. Yeah, so <laughs> AOE is the basic way to counter him because yeah. you're just, you have so many illusions. It just seems like the guy never dies. I just don't think he, you. I think you're overstating really it. I think you're thinking of the bad experiences we've had. We've and, had a lot of them. And, well, but I think early that, on. I think any more. I think he's just. He's, he's really, not as bad as he was. He's an average carry who I don't think fits into the current meta. Mm. I think that's where I would call him right now. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I don't disagree with you. I think he's he's Terror Blade now. Right now. Wow. He's Which you would take Terror Blade over him every time, or Naga Siren over him every time. Not I would necessarily. Think most times. Yeah. Illusion the, illusion carries were kind of nerfed pretty hard. Yeah. Post TI4. Yeah. Well. Or no, it was. Um, it was like around Christmas time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was around Christmas yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. But I think he's he's fun to play. I'll be honest there. I think he's yeah. he's fun to mess around with and play, but I don't. I he's got some. He's got in. some really weird hats. Yeah. The one that makes his eyes go all weird, like all Super Saiyan. Yeah. He does. <laughs> he's got some strange hats. And some yeah. that really big beard. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah, that, 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 that beard is pretty sweet. Well, it's a bigger beard. Yeah. The beard is weird. Yeah. So, do we recommend this guy? What do we think? Or is there more to talk to you about with him? Yeah. Do you have other, any other questions, Brian? No. I recommend. Yeah? Yeah. I do not. I like him. I also do not. Okay. Controversial. Well, no, I don't think uh, so. Jared and I are on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. Well, defend your position, good Brian, because you're the only one that feels differently. Why, I, why th- th- I think he's fun to play, I think he's easy to play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he doesn't have. He's got what two passives? Yeah, yeah, he has two passives. Like any good carry, he has two passives. I think. Uh, I think at the pub <laughs> level, he's uh, people don't know how to respond to him correctly, and he's just a pain in the butt. Yeah, Wait, I would agree about, with that. I don't disagree with what you said, but what about the pro level? Is he? Would you recommend that the pros start picking him up on their normal rotations here, Brian? Do not recommend. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're pretty much on the same page then. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's move into our news segment here. Oh boy! Uh, what bumper am I supposed to play for this one? We don't have a bumper for We're that supposed one. Supposed to play this. I need is that? Nope, not that one. No. Let's, let's just call it that. Let's do that. Okay, yeah. Idea. Time for time for. Uh, How neat is that? What are we calling this? <laughs> tip of the week or Dota tips? Noob knowledge. Noob knowledge. That's right. Gosh. <laughs> How neat is that? <laughs> so noob knowledge is something we've come up with, which will s- essentially replace the item of the week segment. Mm-hmm. And it's just going to be a place where we can talk about the things we're learning about the game in a general way. And so it may include some items that we're yeah. finding some neat uses for or some tips. And I think we want to keep, uh, as we constantly mention, we want this to be a show for you know everybody, but it's really aimed towards casual players who are trying to figure out the game. And as and may not be playing all the time. And may not be playing all the time. <laughs> and as we've realized, there's a lot of small little things that we just didn't even know were part of the game or that we totally overlooked. Um, one of the examples we always like to joke about is I didn't know you could make the courier go faster <laughs> by pushing the little boot icon. <laughs> Good about it, that one. Because it's not necessarily in the in the tutorial or anything. Right. And I just, if yeah. you miss the icon, you just don't really think yeah. about it. Yeah. And so that's one well, that I, I, for months, I played the game. 
was was arguably probably the best player on our team at that point in time. <laughs> Not necessarily yeah. now, but well, for, because you were semi pro at Warcraft three. Because I played Warcraft three, and <laughs> and somebody started talking about giving the courier a speed boost, and I said, "Well, what is that?" And they had to explain that <laughs> That's it's, it's for pushing the it's pushing the little boot button makes the courier go faster. And so yeah. it's those type of things that I think a well, lot Only of, if it's a flying courier. Only if it's a flying courier. Um, but it's those type of things that I think people just... To- which I actually just thought it was an icon showing that it had become a flying courier. It was just which like makes part sense. of that. Yeah, yeah, no, no. It makes sense. Yeah, it Even does, though the little yeah. other icon gets little wings. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just... It's one of those things where new players or even you know moderately experienced players may just miss some things and we want to share that noob knowledge that we're learning about the game. So, so absolutely, Jared has some knowledge to dispense upon us. Yeah, do you have anything? Because yeah. I didn't. I don't have anything. Yeah, I wanted my to, courier. My courier thing is it. Yeah, I, I want to talk about double clicking. Yeah, go ahead. Um, the one that I didn't know, you can double click a TP scroll. So, like, if you have it bound to, let's say, a C or whatever in your item slots, you can you can hit C twice, and it'll automatically TP TP you back to the fountain. I there do, you go. I do think mine's that's, blown. Yeah, some of those abilities for because you can also self cast abilities that way. Exactly. But that's yeah. a setting, and that's, that's an what option. we have to clarify. It is an yeah. option that you have to go into the settings to enable. That's true. That's true. Or else you're going to be clicking the heck out of your buttons and nothing. And happens. hating us. Yeah, and hating us. So yeah, that's fair. Just go into your settings to find that. You can send yeah. all hate mail to me. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's fine. But uh, but yeah, you have to do the setting. But it's nice, especially for like I'm thinking Omni Knight. You staff. can do a, a self heal, for example. Force staff. I use force all staff, the time. Yeah, is the yeah. one that I love. Yeah, you have to. Or do Or earn. Staff. You yeah. can you can double click and earn and put one yeah. on you. Yeah. Now I I, I would recommend and Jared and I differ on this. I would recommend not double clicking, but double pushing your button. Yes. But they perform the similar function. Right. But you like the mouse click. Is well, that the, no, I I have mouse buttons bound well okay to my Fair item enough. slots yeah so. if you're doing that then that's perfect i have yeah. mine for quick buy but right yeah we never really recommend mousing with the arrow and clicking stuff you're gonna you're gonna be real jared is not that. recommending that he's no, just brought the clarification no. that's unless you're clicking saying. on dudes to target stuff right, right. Mm-hmm. yeah but yeah, yeah exactly if you have you have an ability that you want to cast on yourself like the coddle of the light yes. um his his uh chakra magic or whatever it's called where he gets mana Yes, you can double click. You can you know double click whatever you have an E. I don't know if it's an E or not, but yeah, you hit E twice and it'll cast it on yourself. Yeah, any of those abilities. You can do that. Chakra would be one of those. You can things. do that with Blink Dagger. It'll. I think it'll warp you closer whatever direction your fountain's in. I didn't know that. I yeah. thought it was just the way you're facing. Oh, he's saying if you so. double do it, it does something different. I but think he, I think it'll move you close whatever direction you're. You lack you lack confidence in this statement, so maybe that's one to test out. Yeah, I'm not entirely confident <laughs> on it, but I'm. I've never done a blink dagger. Yeah, so. yeah. four staff. Four staff though. is the one that that's I use one a lot. You can use mm-hmm. for sure. So so there you have it, folks. There's some new knowledge for you. How neat is that? Pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat. You were waiting that whole segment just for that, I, weren't you? I was. I, I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> it explains why he was zoned out. Yeah. And the, it just totally zoned out. God. So we'll try to learn something so that we have something to share. And I don't. I can't promise that we'll always have a noob knowledge segment. Yeah, but that lasted longer than the item of the week normally did. So and this, was, this works out. And to me, it was more interesting. Yeah. And if I if I didn't know about double clicking or double pushing buttons to do something, I think I'd feel more enlightened than I would about an iron branch, for example. I don't think we ever talked about an Iron Branch. I pushed for Iron Branch, and I made it happen one time. I'm glad I was not I was that. totally trolling Brian. All right, let's, uh, let's take this one out back and shoot it like Old Yeller. Let's move on to, uh, <laughs> to chatting with Cheeks. Oh, my gosh, Come Brian. on, Brian. Really? It's VLC. Come on. You can Hold do on. it. It's just you click the it thing. Going. It's Hello. Going. <laughs> Welcome to the dense and impenetrable web of systemic bullshit we collectively refer to as Guter. Hey, <laughs> Yay, Brian. To be, uh, yeah. to be perfectly fair, uh, Schism Punk <laughs> sent me a Reddit message about some software called like Sports Talk Pro or something like that. All right. That I need to get mm. set up. I just haven't got it. It's only $1,000. Uh, it's free. Oh, that's better. <laughs> there's a free. There's a free version, I guess. So. I still think you're just not clicking right. But, but the time to set it up is not free. No, I did, Ben, because it played part of it. <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, oh, oh! Wouldn't indicated. A, wait, wait, wait. Wouldn't no. a tr- wouldn't a triple click stop it though? It's a possibility, and, and to clarify, <laughs> it's a good point. It was directed towards Sheik's, not you. Mm. Oh <laughs> wow! <laughs> Jared okay. is on a roll today. All right, let's let's move on. All right, wow. what do you got for us, Cheeks? <laughs> 
Okay, well, today we've been chatting about PL, and it was interesting. We were talking about, there's lots of talk about what to do against PL. Right. Now, Last Talon made a note for himself to say, always choose PL against Nan, <laughs> to which I replied, just play Dota against Nan, and you should be fine. It's a very uh, good point. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Wow. It was, well, I was just, I'm being truthful. Dang. It's yeah, hurtful, but it's truthful. Wow. Sure. I mean, it's yeah, it is truthful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not that good. I'm a little, I'm a little distraught over that one though. I don't. I'll just relax. It's just some chat room fun. It is. You got to flame fun. yourself. You got to flame That's yourself true. in the chat That's room. True. It's fun. <laughs> uh, let's see. But there was some talks about picks against uh, PL, and some people were talking a lot about Axe. Uh, people were oh, talking yeah. about yeah, yeah. 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 He'll That's spin like yeah. crazy. He'll talking about Sven. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then also uh, Last Town said he recently pit Lashrak and totally wrecked the PL. Okay. With the, uh, with okay. the lightning, yeah. with the lightning bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. And edict, and exactly. yeah, he has a lot of AOE actually. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. He's just so, a super squishy. Uh, so if you get near him, yeah, he, I like he may he may melt. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Those Glass are good camp. suggestions though. And he also said that perhaps a uh, Shiva's guard would be good against him too. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. So. But, I don't know. How does that um, interact with the, uh, with his Phantom Rush or whatever that is? Would that you're asking the wrong the guy. Guard? I think it would. <laughs> it might, well, it's, but it wasn't a speed boost, right? Wasn't the Phantom Rush a speed boost? Yeah, it's a so speed I would boost. think it would yeah. slow that to a certain it's, extent. But he gets, slows attack though, doesn't it? He gets nine hundred. Shiva Shiva's guard also slows attack speed, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it does. I think that was the point of the Shiva's guard, right? The, the well, if that's the case, then that's a good yeah. item. Because he's saying that, you know, without his tax speed, his illusions really aren't as yeah. dangerous. Okay, there you go. So yeah, that, because that's a great uh, idea. I don't, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then there was also, uh, you know, I just, my solution to dealing with him was just Battle Fury on everyone. Witch Doctor Battle Fury, Drow Battle Fury, <laughs> Sniper Battle Fury, great Lich idea. Battle Fury. Uh, last Talon threw in Tree Battle Fury. <laughs> tree Battle Fury. So, Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that one sounds so, like it could work. And it made me. It actually made me think that we should have on community nights. We should have a match where it's like an item match where <laughs> it has to be a high value item that everybody on each team has to buy. That's great. And if one person <laughs> on it doesn't have it, then their team loses, even if their like team won the thing. That's great. I think it'd be fun. You could make a custom so, game mode out of that in the future. Exactly. When those tools are available. When Lord exactly. Gaiman blesses us with uh, Source <laughs> Two, game mode. right? So everybody had you could do a divine rapier and everybody if you dropped one you'd lose then if you won the game and you didn't have one in your inventory at the theoretically. time theoretically theoretically you could yeah well we're making the game yeah. mode we can do whatever we want oh yeah, yeah. it was also I, we also the, had a yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah in the bounds of a custom game mode you could do that you could yeah. do a gem if you wanted to oh we also Go got a uh, angler meister saying that tiny would be a good counter too because of the uh, oh, the yeah. little the stuns cleave. and stuff like that mm-hmm. and the AOE damage and stuff. Yeah, uh, Angler but, Buster. I like that name. Yeah, I know it's pretty cool. And then also we had friend of the show Lilu ninety four ask us. It was it was a, a creepily prescient. He was like, "Do you guys ever think about like talking about counters that could that could be picked in the Hero of the Week session?" And then oh like right after gosh. you after he said that, you guys started talking about it. So Brian, well Brian done, guys. Yeah, yeah. Good. I yeah. was I was you, expecting you to say uh, Lilu asked Corbin Dallas multipass. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. Wow. Uh, fifth Element too. obscure reference there. That's great. Okay. We know. love Fifth Element, man. It's good. I like it's it. It's a good movie. So. But, I, think but that... I just felt like we hadn't been we hadn't been self congratulatory enough this episode, so I thought right. We should, yeah, we we, we pat ourselves on the back. For we that. need more backpack. I can bring us back down to earth. So the, <laughs> okay. the reason really bad would have never guessed. Yeah, the reason we don't do that, Sheiks, because usually we don't have any freaking clue who a good counter that's would be. That's true. Ben knows. That's true. Ben is totally yeah. right here. I would say that's yeah, often that's the reasoning for that. A lot of times. Yeah, We'd have true. to research it. We wouldn't know just in our minds who to counterpick. Sometimes. You might. <sighs> I wouldn't know. I'll that's admit fair. I'll bring myself down to earth if that's I think that's a good idea though. Me. I think we should start talking about counterpicks. I think we should try. Yeah. 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 We'll sure. try it out. <laughs> we should try it out. We'll try now we might have some ahead. outside of the box. Yeah, now that thinking. we're playing ahead, we might be able to actually do that. Some outside of the box thinking. <laughs> All right. There you go. Well, are you guys ready for some questions? Hit it. Uh yes. Well, boy, do I have some questions for you guys. Hit it! Holy shit! If you want peace, you must prepare for war. If you want war, you must also prepare for war. 
The lesson is, always prepare for war! All right, there we have it. All right, thank you for... Again, I didn't have the bumper, so... I wasn't quite sure if it was happening or not. Oh, so. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> anyway, week... <laughs> And uh, everyone who submits a question each week during the week or during the live show here can go ahead and post uh, questions on Noobs Ask Noobs uh, questions February March thread, and uh, uh, their name will be entered in a drawing for a free game. And this week's free game is Saints Row Four. Oh, oh boy, that's like a. Do we call that a triple A title? Is that what we would call it? That? I, oh, close. It's, it's, it's right at there. least double A. I think it's a B plus at least. I mean, it's like it's. it's I think it's. It's not your Grand Theft Auto of the world, but it's like yeah. it's like they took what Grand Theft Auto was doing and they just decided to go a slightly different direction and they did it pretty well. Those games are exactly. fun. They are fun. There's That's the direction games, they went, yeah. is they went less serious. I like fun less and serious. silly. <laughs> Brian, yes. and, I, Brian and I, with Saint, Saints Row 3, had one of the most laugh-out-loud gaming oh, experiences yeah. we've ever had. Mostly because my character was not wearing pants. <laughs> it was a little weird. Well, that's... Yeah, and you were wearing a backpack. A bunny backpack, yeah. I believe. Yeah. yeah. So those are fun games. Jeez. Good, good times. So we'll have that drawing after we get through the questions here. So are you guys ready for some questions? Boy, are we. <laughs> okay, well, here I go. I'm going to hit it. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, my God. This first question is from front of the show, Diddy Mitch. I had to include this one because it was too Diddy good. Mitchell. Okay. I like that guy. Yes, Diddy Mitchell, Blizzard employee. Here we go. If you had... Oh, if you could have a Dota 2 character as one, a personal potty, potty, personal bodyguard. <laughs> two, as a, yeah, I had a tough time reading this week. I remember my, la my wife laughing at me after personal bodyguard. <laughs> anyway, if you could have a Dota 2 character as one, a personal bodyguard, two, as a father figure, and three, as a fellow podcast host, who would they be and why? P.S. When Huskar is Hero of the Week, I gotta be on the show to defend his. Honor. I'm not sure what <laughs> honor is, but uh, I think he might mean honor, which is yeah. spelled H O N O R. There's in no country, unit. Yeah, just yeah, like in, in color. Country, yeah, is, just yeah. like in just yeah. I know. Just like just <laughs> I, like I color. It was you know. a joke. No, man. you in color. I get. I know. That it's a joke. I'm playing into the joke. Thank you. Uh, you, you so who would it be? Yes. Okay. Who's yes. your bodyguard? Who's I, your Dota two body? Should we do, like, should we do one at a time? Let's do one at a time. Yeah, one at a time. Go ahead. Yeah. Bodyguard. Bodyguard. Axe. Easy. Sven. Axe. Okay. Next question. What's the next? Wait, one? Uh, wait! Don't, don't I get to say one too? Yeah, of course you do. He's okay, giant okay. and he's red. Well, okay, let me see. Uh, mine's gonna be tree. Okay. okay. For my bodyguard. Yeah. I mean, we yeah, don't have to. Def aren't these all obvious answers for that one? Why? Why Sven? That's the you were the odd man out with that. He has a lot of scary cosmetics you can put on him. Okay. Yeah, and a really true. big he sword, pretty tough. Times. And he can make you run fast. He does have a giant yeah. sword. Yeah, that's absolutely. true. He's and blue. True. And he can make you run fast. Brian, that is the best answer to that one. That's <laughs> really make good. Make you run fast. That's really good. I like that you got the abilities in there. All right, second question. Okay, second question. As a father figure. Gyrocopter. Uh, <laughs> keeper of the light. Axe. <laughs> <laughs> he says it right in the bumper. Always prepare for war. He gives you life it's lessons true. right in the bumper. Yeah. That's yeah, true. That's uh, Lich. For me, oh, for father figure. Okay, Lich gonna have your mana. <laughs> Lich gonna have yeah, your mana. Yeah, that's right. Yep. <laughs> uh, M three, a fellow podcast host. Axe. <laughs> I gotta go. Cop with Axe. out. Cop out. Not a cop out. Total <laughs> cop out. You picked Axe for all three. Yeah, he's a personable guy. <sighs> Axe is the total Disagree. package. Yeah. Disagree. I'm gonna go with Meepo. <laughs> Because then Meepo could take care of all the weird pre-game <laughs> podcasting stuff. Because yeah. we'd have a bunch of them. Yeah. Run, so we just have Meepos running around everywhere. That's fixing a all of our idea. sound. That's everything a pretty up. good idea. Fixing all our That's sound issues. Idea. Doing yeah. all kinds of but stuff. But as a host, wouldn't he be? Wouldn't it just be too many people talking at once? Well, we're not going to let him. I mean, we're all pretty, pretty close with four people. And here. if you That's lose one, point. you lose them all. Then. <laughs> well, I'm I'm, I'm expanding true. the host role. I don't I don't think people understand all that happens behind the scenes. So I'm just looking at this as more of a spreading the you don't workload. Wanna, out. You don't want to see how the sausage is no, made. No, you don't. Behind the scenes, <laughs> it's sheer chaos. But can you imagine how much better the sausage would be if we had six meepos going into it? That's true. It'd be a lot of good oh, meepo sausage. Gross. <laughs> meepo sausage, new mascot. <laughs> it's really gross. <laughs> I'll have to work on that set next. Um, sausage meepo. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go. Who with, do you think, Jared? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I think I'd go with Coddle Spirit Breaker. Light. Spirit Breaker. Yeah, okay. why not? Spirit Breaker. <laughs> that would be why not? Give you that uh, discipline that oh, you never no. had as a child. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> wow. His name's Spirit Breaker, Jared. Yeah, I don't know. He's... As a co-host? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, as a co-host. As a oh, co-host. The father figure was Gyrocopter. Yeah, yeah he wanted Gyrocopter for father figure. Yeah, I'm going to say Axe, well. too. He could do Charger. I'm going to say Axe for the podcast host. You're saying Axe for the podcast See, host. Ben, it yeah, was yeah. I like his voice too much. I like the way he talks. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Okay. He'd be like, Axe not amused by Ben, or whatever. Axe you know? reports, be- bottom no. is missing. <laughs> exactly. Okay, thanks, Axe. <laughs> Dynamite drop it, in- Axe. That was done in the spirit of X. That sort of thing. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we got through that. I'm not sure why. But... <laughs> or how. <laughs> Thank you, Diddy Mitch. Thanks. I like that question. Thanks, that Diddy great. Mitchell. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Next question comes from uh, I Still Surf. Friend of the show, I Still Surf. Here we go. Like, how do you learn a new hero? Bot matches, solo queue, guides? I feel like I need to do hours of research and practice before I'm comfortable playing a hero in front of other people. How do you guys learn a new hero? Uh, you just don't worry about it that much and jump on in. That's what I think. Yep. I, I would say it's worth doing like a bot match just to, one get, or two. Just to get comfortable with the mm-hmm. abilities, but just play the game. I think if it gets really bad, you just mute everybody on your team and just wing it anyways. Yeah, that's there a good you point. Go. Ben, yeah. knows. ben I, knows. I like to do at least one bot match oh, just, yeah. just to make sure I have my... You know, your bearings your ducks in you a row. Will. Yeah, yeah. What, what the abilities really actually do. Because, I mean, reading them is one thing, but interacting with them, seeing like the ca- cast oh, it's animations. Very different, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to know what you're expecting when you're, you know, casting Split Earth on Leshrac is something. I agree. Because it takes like so, seven seconds. So the consensus is one bot match, jump on in, ignore the flaming. Yeah. Hope for the best. Now, now I would take, now I don't do that when I'm playing with my friends. I only make people who are total strangers deal with the heroes I don't know how to play. Like oh. I don't usually, I don't usually. Oh, I'm yeah. the opposite. Yeah, Do you? Okay. you are the exact opposite. Yeah. I agree with that, Brian. And you are definitely not. I, 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 I think stick that you, to, I stick with my people I know when I'm playing with you. Yeah, guys. you are. You're very reg- regimented with the heroes that I'll, you will let me pick for you. Yeah, probably true. And I think it stems from one incident where I made you play Lena. <laughs> Maybe. It does. It might be. It does. It and then be. Ben forever hated Lena. I still don't like Lena that much. Okay. <laughs> I had a real fun time with Lena. Yeah. Like two weeks Gross. ago. Gross. Yeah. In a non sexual way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, I used to do a lot of. To, to help me learn the whole game, just in general, I played lots of co op bot matches yeah. forever. Well, I think that's you know, what we that's, did when we that's first kind of started. a good way to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And now it's fun to do those again because you can get hats from doing them. Can you get hats from those? I was actually curious. I would. I don't know. I thought, so, I thought after you were a certain level, hats. you couldn't get hats anymore. Yeah, I don't know if you can still get hats from those. Oh. Let's look into that one. Wow. Because I would do it if you could, no. but I don't think shocking. you can. That's shocking. We can bring that up on Noob Knowledge next week, I yeah. guess. Brian will yeah. do the research because he I made the bold statement about how it works. Probably do the All right. research. There we go. <laughs> then people are just going to have to hopefully hope other that your word will, is correct. Hopefully if somebody, other people will somebody be... please correct Brian because I'm confident he's wrong. <laughs> I'm confident I might be wrong. <laughs> you might be wrong. Yeah. I, I, would, I would say might. I'm with you. I'm confident you might be wrong. Okay. Thanks for that vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. No Total like vote of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, <laughs> our next question here is a life-related question. Always the favorite. From <laughs> Elihu MRM. Where are these friends of the show says, coming from? This is great. Yeah, I know they're great. They're wonderful, aren't they? The they life-related the question. All, it's a good giveaway this <laughs> exactly. week. No, this was about four days ago before I even announced Saints okay. Row was available. Here we go. So life-related question. I've been listening for several months, but it was only during the last episode that I heard, when I met you, Cheeks, on the West Coast, I didn't. I won't be so surprised how tall you are, or when I meet you, pardon me. Yeah. I'm having a terrible time reading today. This is just not my thing. I'm today. tracking, though. It's fine. I understand the context. <laughs> okay, yeah. So when Mostly. I meet you, Cheeks, on the West Coast, I won't be so surprised how tall you are. This informed me that not all of you have met in real life, mm. IRL. How did the great. members of Team Nan come to meet each other? As Team Noobs Ask Noobs, our stellar Dota team. Mm. Yeah, without watching. an actual victory ever. <laughs> well, let's take it as far back as we can go. So that's you two, right? You've known each other the longest. Uh, yes, Brian and I grew up in the same little town in Ohio named Wapakoneta. Jared and I have probably known each other since before we could remember. 
Well, I, w- I moved to Wapak when I was five and started yeah. going to church there. So. Okay. I was five, you I, were three. Uh, yes, we probably knew each other before I could remember that. Right, so, <laughs> yeah, so we have known each other for quite a while. Yeah. Um, I would say our friendship blossomed <laughs> um, <laughs> when you moved out to, uh, to where we live now and our yeah. wives became very good friends. Yeah, you yeah. guys weren't particularly close no. before then, actually. No, we, we knew each I other. I heard you guys and, hated each other. Yeah, well, there's a little bit of hate. <laughs> erroneous, <laughs> erroneous. <laughs> Jared and I have always had a love affair. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I met these guys in college. I'm a little older than they are, but was grew up in a college town, lived in a college town for a long time. And I met these guys in college. And I think, I mean, I knew, I, don't, I think I knew Jared a little better before I knew Brian better. And then Jared moved away. And Probably, then Brian yeah. and I got relatively close. Yeah. We're pretty close. Yeah, we were real, very close. And then you moved away. And then I moved here. So, like, there were different time frames with that because now we all live in the same town again but yeah um yeah just we've i think we've all known each other for at least a decade probably or close to a decade let's say i started school when in did you start college oh five oh five so yeah so close to a decade yeah and then um friend of the show kyle we've met out here just for oh, i don't know a year or two ago or three years ago or something yep three years ago I think. and then yeah. cheeks just I think you offered to participate one day or something. Yeah. Well, kind of, well, we had four. We people. played on a community night. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we we can play. We played on we a com- played on community night, one of the right. first community nights. And then, and then we, I think I impressed I impressed you guys with my support spin. And then I was just in from there. No, I think you impressed <laughs> us with the fact that we got along with you very well. And you're old. Yeah, that's, that could be yeah. it. And I'm old too. Yeah. Yeah, that was my first question of the show: was Am I too old to play Dota? I think that was. Yeah, your that, first that's. Answer. I think. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, you submitted. You submitted a noobs esque noob to us uh, right. with how old yes. is too old to play Dota? I think is what it was. Mm-hmm. And I got particularly excited that somebody older than me could potentially play in this video game. Right. So because I'm older. Well, than I've you. heard some of our. I've heard some of our uh, community members are in their 40s. So Whoa! Very wow. I like Great. that. I'm okay. excited about that. I know. Yeah. I'm into yeah. it. So I think As someone who's dangerously one. close to his 40s, I'm. I'm <laughs> yeah. thinking about that. <laughs> So I think, right. yeah, long and short, the three of us have been rel- really close friends for probably relatively the last decade or so, and then um, yeah. to varying degrees. Cause why not, do you, not why do you keep same. saying relatively, Ben? I don't like that well, you say that. Because there's, there's <laughs> periods in our lives where we didn't even live in the same town. Right, from 08 to You guys to aren't 10. like yeah. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Yes, close. we are. You're just, so <laughs> we've been very close at times. Sort of and like Jared and I were probably very close for a while in Bowling Green. and then Because we, we played away. a lot of Halo together. Because we played Halo together we constantly. We played a lot of Halo. <laughs> constantly. Yeah. So I just feel like our friends... I think we're very close now, but there yeah. are probably phases where we were not. Oh, yeah. I mean, we were very... Yeah. I was I w- in your wedding. We we were very close yeah. when we were in Bowling Green. I wouldn't stuff, disagree so. with any of that. Yeah. So I'm not trying to put a relative on our friendship. On our current current. On our status. current state. On our, I will I will qualify our current friendship as very close. Yes. Right. And Cheeks as being somebody who lives across across the country who we talk to quite often and are getting very close to. So. I feel like all of my personality traits are coming out in this conversation. You are. You're in, you're you are very are like, insecure. Yeah, yeah. Your insecurities are like flying out. <laughs> Why don't you love me? And my sensi- <laughs> my sensitivity to emotions. I, know. I feel so bad, Brian. <laughs> Um, we've known each other for 10 years, and we're very close friends, Brian. Thank you. You're welcome. Brian and I are playing <laughs> Band of brothers mistake. close. So close. Close as brothers. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry to offend you with my relative language. You didn't offend me. I did a little bit. All right. I got, I, got one yeah, other, language. I got one other question here. One more short one. All right. Let it ride. Okay. So this is from friend of the show, Lilu94, uh, who asks, uh, well, yes, along those lines, I assume. And I'm also assuming that the 94 is the year that that person was born. Mm, Just if I were to take a guess. Uh, let's see. So here we go. <laughs> that could have been it. No. No. That means they'd be older than me. Yeah, well, they'd be close to 40 then. I'm just saying. Yeah, they'd be. They'd be. They anyway, here we go. <laughs> they were probably born in 94. So, so here's, a, here's a short and easy question. If you could have a hero ability and an item in real life, what would it be? I'd either want a Blink Dagger or Midas, and Wraith King's reincarnation. Oh yeah. Did That's you say fair. or item That's ability? Fair. Is that what you said? Yes. Let's let's it's do a, item an, ability. No, a hero. No, a hero ability and an item in so real life. So one of each. So a real life Blink Dagger and a hero ability. What would it be? I think we've done hero ability. Well, before. I think I think definitely global uh, global silence. 
from Silencer would be quite nice. Especially when I'm in the room talking about our. We have a hard time sleeping. Right. Global Silence and then uh, Necrobook. That way, you always have friends. Yeah. Every every forty <laughs> seconds, you can, have yeah. you can, you can yeah, always push seconds. towers. Well, I'm gonna. I'm fairly certain we've had this question before, so I'm gonna, I don't remember it. Ben. I'm gonna again say the Meepo clone myself ability would be the one I would go with because that's what I said the last time we answered this. I, I don't remember this at all. I, well, let's think about this, Ben. I, I think, think you've got too much self-loathing for that, Ben. I don't think you'd like it as much. <laughs> yeah, that room would be <laughs> terrible to be in. I think you might want <laughs> too illusions. Much self-loathing. I think you might want illusions instead of clones because if one of those clones bites the dust, you 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 die okay, everywhere. So I want a Manta style, is what I want. Yeah, and then I need oh, an ability still. You want to yeah. either juxtapose or uh, doppelganger. doppelganger. Well, since you're my very close friend, or... I'll take your word for what I want. I want what do I want? <laughs> well, you want whatever you want. No, ben. no, no. I want to hear your. Advice. I'm just trying to help you think I through think this. You, ben. I think you know me better than this I do. This is what friends do. I don't know about that. Well, what's what's the ability I should pick? You ha- you had a. Good oh, hold one. on. Meepo doesn't clone himself. Check your lore according to what. But time. when he dies, he dies. <laughs> Yeah. When any of them die, he dies. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. There's still a weakness there. It's just they're all their four friends all named Meepo. Oh. It's just a coincidence. That's dumb. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't no, believe that at all. Dumb, that's lore, dumb, man. That's dumb lore. <laughs> that's lore. Dumb they all they all share boots. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh boy. All right, um, let's go to right. Jared. I, uh, I'm gonna change mine. Ben I wanna be the, the the tree, the tree ability, whatever it's called, that just lets me go hide in the trees at this point in time. Yeah. No, the invisibility. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. That's I'm just a, gonna go do hide in the trees. All right, that's probably a good good idea. That's what I'm gonna go do. Um, I think I might want a divine rapier for ultimate power. Ooh. Yeah, so you can beat the heck out of people. Just, yeah, man. That <laughs> yeah, might be kind of nice. What's your hero <laughs> ability? Yeah. Oh, being axe. <laughs> Yeah, I want a lot of armor. Yeah, be <laughs> big and red. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. Fast movement. Yeah, I guess maybe spear breaker charge. That might be kind charge of fun. Of darkness. Oh, yeah, that would be handy. Blink strike. Yeah, might be kind of fun. Okay. Yeah. What about you, cheeks? Um, I would say, well, first of all, the t- hero ability. I'd say that the ability to um. To uh, to silence everyone as silencer global silence yeah, that would nice. be very handy as that's, a teacher <laughs> be really really yeah, handy yeah. that's a good point uh, let's see uh, I'm not saying that children shouldn't be heard it's just there's certain times you have to listen before but then I guess that would silence me too wouldn't it which wouldn't really work right uh, I don't know. anyway no, no, no. I don't think that's how that works no okay frozen field there uh that's, my, that's frozen my hero field. you want to make it snow yeah. whenever you want is yeah. that what you want snow? yes i just want huge huge uh blast we already have explosions. that it's called northeastern ohio i know <laughs> i don't have that out here which i'm fine with i would be too okay at this point. Uh, <laughs> and then for the uh, <laughs> i would too i'm over this for, for the item uh it would be the teleport scroll then I could just teleport anywhere. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, well, to one of your really, friendly really buildings. Handy. That's a good one. To any friendly well, building. So, <laughs> so really, well, so I have my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just teleport to any that's friend. That's true. That's, yeah, Boots of Travel that's is better. That's true. Than that would be a lot scroll. better. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. You there. But they're more expensive. What if I'm on a budget? We're losing 100 Brian, US geez. dollars doesn't sound better. Than, <laughs> <laughs> sounds a little cheaper than $2,000. That's a lot of dollars. That is a lot of dollars. A lot of gold coins. All right. Let me see. Let me reach in my in my hat here and pull out a name. Thanks for all the questions. Good good questions, yeah, everybody. Good. Sorry, nice. we, we good week. Thank you. Chief. We should we should probably have some week where we just do a questions podcast or something. Maybe some sort of centennial question oh, yeah. podcast because we're starting to get more and more. Because are we really, really cool? People want to know. Yeah, uh, yeah, we are. People want people want free games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a reason you. I'm okay boys. with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. If we can right, buy people's so love, we'll buy people's love. That's yeah, right. yeah, we'll do what we can. All right, so I'm reaching in the uh, the hat here. I'm 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 rubbing my hand around. Paper is crinkling against my fingertips. I reach in, I grab. I grab two on accident, so I drop one, pull it out, <laughs> and the winner of Saints Row Four. Oh. Do you have that that sound effect ready? Yeah. Yes, I do. Are you yeah, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Great. 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 The winner of Saints Row Four is Lilu ninety four. Yeah, these are definitely a buy. 
How neat is that? How neat. Okay, we're done. Pretty neat. Did the thing play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went a little crazy with the soundboard. It's okay. Are you feeling better now? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got that out. I'm of glad you, you got it out of you. That's good. <laughs> All right, Cheeks, where can we find you online? Uh, you can find me on Steam, uh, Cheeks of Flappin', especially Lilu94, because I need to send you that game. So find me on Steam, and I'll uh, send it to you via Steam. Then uh, you can find me on Xbox Live as Whoa. Cheeks of Flappin'. <laughs> You can find me on PS4 as Cheeks, that's C-C-H-H-E-E-E-E-K-K-S-S. And you can find me on Twitter, <laughs> at Cheeks of Flappin, and on Instagram, Cheeks of Flappin. Great. Wow. Sorry. There you go. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of I had a, uh, I had a Force 5 a lot of places. There. Sorry about that. You had a what? <laughs> a Force 5 sneeze. Oh, I didn't even notice. You're fine. Okay, good. Uh, ben, where can we find you online? I'm uh, at Dota Yadneb on Twitter. Perfect. Jared? Uh, you can follow me at the We Like Dota Bets on uh, Twitter. Is that still Very active? Uh, it hasn't been lately because I've been actually into sports gambling, but I ran out of money there, so I'll be uh, going back to Dota. If people would like to follow you now, is it a good time to follow? Will, will yeah, it be I'll, 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 be, I'll be going back and getting some more. I can only concentrate on one gambling thing at a hey, time. Hey, that's okay? fine. So that's Dota's fine. it right now. So now's yeah. the time to get into the We Like Dota bets. Yeah, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be getting a little bit hot and heavy here coming up. We're having some <laughs> tournaments coming in, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be hot fun. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be good. I had no idea. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. We're getting in there. Uh, you can follow me online, personally on Twitter, at Byinger, B-Y-I-N-G-E-R. Also on Instagram, follow uh, We Like Dota on Reddit. A lot, of, a lot of good questions and discussions going up there. Yeah, it yeah. seems like it. Uh, follow We Like Dota on Twitter and YouTube as well. Uh, community nights are Wednesday nights at 8, where uh, people in our guild get together and have a good time. Speaking of the guild, uh, you can go to our subreddit to find information about how to join that. How many members are we up to on that now? Yeah, enough that I don't count. Lots. Anymore. Yeah. yeah, lots. I'm thinking we got over be 150, more. right? Yeah, we got to no, be this, one of the larger I think they're guilds. Almost out there. at two, nah, I don't know about that. We're almost yeah. 200. No, I think, no. I think it's We're close. Though. Totally not one of the larger groups. Oh, We're one of the larger groups of quality people, though. We do have Amen, a really, brother. We have a great group. I'll yeah, give us. No, yeah. I'll give us that. Quote. Yes. Yeah, that's great. And what else am I missing? Oh, uh, some of you Patreon uh, subscribers or Patreon uh, folks out there. Yeah. Um, Patrons. Patrons. You need, you need to send me your replays <laughs> for me to cast those. So Brian needs something to do. Send those in my direction, <laughs> and we'll take care of those. You don't have to, though. Like, if you just want to give us more money and not get that reward, that's fine. They don't yeah. have to. They don't, it's not like you. Know, no. If somebody didn't want to be casted, they don't have to be casted. Yeah. No, that's fine. Well, you're so not going to return cast. their money, is what you're saying, yeah. if they don't send you a thing. Right. No, no, we'll still take their money, even if they don't want to be cast. <laughs> Amen, yeah. brother. And speaking of which, we have a Patreon. You can support the show there if you check out our website. You can follow the links to the Patreon at welikedota.com. You know, if you have a buck or two to spend a month, it goes a long way to help us out. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. And uh, anything else, guys? Our theme. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I mean, literally. No, I say who's wrong, uh, Mike Edwards. <laughs> oh right. yeah, you. I see what you oh, mean. Oh yeah. I yeah, thought our, you meant play the theme. No, our our no. theme song was written by Mike Edwards of the Flipping Tables podcast, which they actually have a whole podcasting network. Network. Now. Sunrise Robot. That we're not even good enough to get invited. To they be got part big of that. things going on. Over yeah. There. Seriously, what the heck is that about? I don't know. No, I'm happy for them though. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. They've, they've been uh, Mike and his brother and just a lot of his collaborators have been doing stuff. They've been just doing content creation for. Years, because I've known Mike since I was like two years old. Two years old, if not, mm. yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm older than Mike, so probably since I was about two and he was born or something. So um, they just do a great job creating content, and yeah, check out their podcasting network. They've got all kinds of stuff on there now, so it's really cool. Good guys over there. Yeah, they're good guys. All right, thanks for listening, everybody, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>